Yo, what's good, Capricorns? Welcome to Billy Goat's Prophetic Vessel. It's your girl, Billy Goat, and I hope you guys doing fine. Capricorns, y'all know. Y'all know, y'all know. I love me some Capricorns. <laughs> I mean, could it just be due to the fact that I'm a Capricorn? <laughs> I mean, you know, we are the goats of the Zodiac. You feel me? <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Please make sure that you take what resonates and you leave the rest behind. Okay. Not every Capricorn is in the same season. Okay. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Holy Spirit. Let's get it. What's the message for my Capricorn? Now, Capricorns, please remember that I do not choose the storyline that comes out. I don't even flip the cards over, okay? The Holy Spirit and my spiritual team have full control when it comes to this. I am literally the vessel. All right? So, your overall energy, Capricorns, is true love come to me. True love shall come to me as I do will, so mote it be. Okay, the number 26. So the number eight could be significant to you. Okay, that's a number of abundance, a number a number of movement forward. It is also a karmic debt number. Okay. And it's a, a number of infinity. Like two, I'm hearing to infinity and beyond. Okay. So some of you guys could be wanting a lifetime partnership. Wow. Okay, because Holy Spirit's like the overall theme here. Okay, so yeah. So some of you guys, this could be dealing with love here. Some of you guys are have been manifesting is what I'm hearing. As I do will, so mote it be, let joy and light radiate from me. Mm, okay, so we have words here that are, you know, kind of bouncing off each other here. The number 16 or the number 7 could be significant. <laughs> some of you guys could have been in an argument. Wow, y'all, let me show you. So right behind uh, true love come to me is romance. Okay, let me find out. This is an unexpected love reading. Oh, some of you guys might be healing a connection here. Okay, candle flame burn this hour. Bring to me your healing power. 29, that reduces down to the number 11. So some of you guys could be dealing with the twin flame. You don't have to be, okay? All right, this is only going to be for some of you. This was not intended to be a love reading, all right? So in some cases, for some people, this reading is going to be based upon love. It doesn't have to be, though, okay? We have success here. Success that's true belongs to me. Success with honor and integrity, okay? So that healing card, some of you guys could have been in an argument, okay? I don't know if you heard the background, these two dogs barking back and forth, all right? You could have had an argument in the past with someone. For some, your boss or a, a, a close friend of yours, you know, that may be an ex-friend now, okay? For some of you, this might be an ex-partner, okay? Or a family member that you decided to put on pause for a minute because it was too much or Capricorns, this could be um, you, take the energy as you see fit here well it's almost like all that you thought was lost is not okay the number 12 and the number three could be significant here we have the number 13 and the number 25 here this also reduces down to the number seven and the number 13 is about transformation this is pluto and scorpionic energy okay so a lot of you guys have been going through your dark night of the soul and like rising like the phoenix from the ashes here beautiful energy with kind heart and humor free, may good cheer rule, so mote it be. A light inside my fire divine, energy fill me, make me shine. Okay? So, it, 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 there's some energy healing. Um, some form of healing that needs to take place. Okay? Uh, when it comes to you and someone else. And that's so interesting because I just did a collective reading. And that reading, go check that reading out. Because that one is about literally generational wealth. But like an action that needs to be taken so that the new beginning could happen. Okay, Capricorn. So some of you guys may resonate with that video. All right, you can go and check it out. Okay, so let's let's see what's going on here. Okay, let's see what's going on. 
and capricorns feel free to check out your other placements i do have a zodiac channel don juan spiritual guidance it is linked in the description box okay also if you guys like principal and or digital planners and journals feel free to visit my etsy shop all right that link is also down below in the description box okay If this resonates with you, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? Especially share, because you never know what Capricorn may need the message, all right? Whether this is a sun, moon, rising, Venus, or north node, okay? So here we go. What needs to happen? Holy Spirit, what's going on with Capricorn? So it looks like um, you had, so you looks like you had some people that really wasn't for you here with uh, rejoice and celebration here. And it also feels like for a lot of you guys, it's like, man, when is something exciting going to happen? You know, when am I going to get out this energy, you know, or when am I going to have people that are actually for me? When I'm going to have be around people who are in alignment with me, right? Okay. Um, and then we also have with foundations and achievements in reverse. It's just like, you know, some of you guys, you know, could be going through it financially. I'm here for some of you. Some of you guys could be, you know, going through it when it comes to your family vibes and you feel like there's a lot of dysfunction, disharmony. Okay. With foundations and achievements for some of you guys, it's D, all of the above. Okay. Which is why you're not really feeling celebratory for some of you guys. I'm hearing you're not really feeling appreciated in your household here or this is how uh, a person or people that felt like home to you made you feel or capricorns take accountability and responsibility where you see fit if this is you and how you treated someone okay because with triumph in reverse here it looks like something was unsuccessful okay or some someone didn't set, stand their ground here or wasn't as assertive as they needed to be when it came to a certain situation and that's going to vary for all of you here and just to let you know we do have 777 here all right tell me more holy spirit you guys are about to get out this energy, okay? Because we have conflict in the feet in reverse, which is pretty much like the five of swords in reverse. And we have moving on, which is pretty much the six of swords, okay? And the standard tarot deck here. So this is basically letting me know that this is what you were going through in the past, all right? For some of you guys, you could still be going through this, okay? Every Capricorn, again, it's not in the same season, all right? And please understand that, you know, this video is timeless. So some of you guys could come across this a few days from now, months from now, weeks from now, years from now, all right? Some of this information is past, present, and future for you. But yeah, there's some sort of sacrifice that... Y'all go check out that other video, Okay, um, about generational wealth, because that one was literally talking about an action that needs to be taken for for this new beginning to come in. OK, for some people here. All right. So you may resonate with that video. All right. You don't have to. But it, it, it looks like. You, oh, you know what it is. Your crown chakra. And mental conflict is in reverse. You've been getting the downloads for this. You know. Number seven. We got four sevens out here. Seven, 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 seven. Well, we got three, three, three here too. Three, three, three. With the number 13, transformation energy, that reduces down to the number four, which we have that here too. Yeah, you were you're embarking on a major change here. Major. Okay, where you're going to be stress free. Look, because mental conflict is in reverse. This represents the two of swords. Okay, in reverse in the standard tarot deck. All right, so it's like you're gonna have you're gonna have the mental clarity that you need. 
with whatever action needs to be taken here like this is where your success lies this is where your hap your your happiness and your harvest lie this is where you know you are fulfilled this is where your energy gets replenished like but it's almost like you guys have to give up something for some people you may have to go towards something or someone here or someone may come towards you or something may come towards you here okay see travel for some of you guys you will be trapped actually traveling moving on here not just you know the statement moving on like actually getting in your car taking a trip somewhere moving to another state for some of you another town whatever the case may be for some of you guys it's with whoever or you know or in regards to whatever this new start is for you here for some of you guys your new start is not where you are that's why it feels what like it feels like this rejoicing celebration in reverse i'm here blah meh because it's like it's like it's like you it's not like you don't appreciate what's around you and things of that nature also at the same time you're not the happiest that you could be right it's like you you know that people go through trials and tribulations you know that none of us is free from adversity it's just your heart is longing for something more and it was hard for you to articulate it but this is what it is it's what the holy spirit is saying okay for most of you here yeah you guys are child look at this <laughs> your overall energy okay your life purpose involves traveling so you're supposed to be on the road no wonder you are happy you're supposed to be on, on and talk to your angels though they've already been talking to you they've already been talking to you instead of worrying ask for divine guidance okay talk to god all right so light and love your purpose is to bring divine healing and light into this world okay as your overall theme so and for some of you guys because I, I i remember they're making me remember i remember i said twin flame earlier some of you guys this is not going to be with all of you you are going to be doing this with your twin flame okay a very small percentage i'll say 11 percent out of people that i'll be watching here because you're going to have somebody that comes back and it's not going to be your twin flame for more of you okay for others of you it's you that wants to come back in a person's life all right or is you you know you have to give up something else it may not be a person take it how it resonates leave what doesn't for some of you guys you know god may just want you to hear this message because when you enter this season this is what you may have to do okay so take it how it resonates leave what doesn't because you guys are spiritual teachers okay you heal with your classes sessions and seminars and you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others all right this is your skill here your gifts thank you holy spirit Healing energy, your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. This is why God is saying, hey, I need you outside. <laughs> I need you to help my people and you can't help them being at the crib. I mean, you know, talking on the phone is only going to do so much, right? I need you hands on. So we have support here. Your life purpose fully supports you. It's it's literally like um like being on a tour bus, so to say, right? As an example, right? For the sake of this reading. And you have what you need on this tour bus, right? But you're living on this tour bus because you're traveling around the world. All right. For the most part, not that you're never going to be stationary, like in a stable, whatever the case may be. You'll be stable, but just stable on the road because of the nature of the work that God wants you to do. Okay, like literally God needs you to go around so that 
because you're an energy healer and yes you know we have distant reiki and things of that nature but like some of you guys are developing into your gifts where you're going to be able to see the insides of of people's anatomy here Okay, like you're going to grow into this, right? Your crown chakra, they're going to, your guides, your angels, particularly the archangels are going to help you with op opening this to the capacity that it needs to be. All right. So that you can do this. You already have the energy. Okay. Remember, we all have auric fields here. Okay. And you vibrate most, for the ones that this is resonating for, you vibrate on a level where god needs you to lay hands on these people kind of like a relic you guys know what a relic is and this is interesting thank you holy spirit because he just brought that to my attention all right and I, I i i hope i'm pronouncing this word correctly um for those that know if i'm not my apologies uh basically a relic is a object Okay, so let's say, for example, let's say, for hypoth hypothetically speaking, Jesus did not wear this ring, okay? If he did, I don't have it. This is just another version, okay? Let This is a, recon uh, uh, this is a archangel reconciliation ring, okay? And um, let, let's say Jesus was wearing this ring during his time, okay? Way, way back when, okay? And... Jesus passed away, right? Well, let's say somebody held on to his ring. Somebody touched his ring, they're going to be healed of all their ailments. This already exists, okay? Like there's literally a DVD of a priest um, naming all of the relics that are out there, okay? Maria Goretti has a relic, okay? Um, for Jesus... He does his um his robe. I don't know if some of you guys know one of the stories in the Bible. There was a, a woman who was uh you know she was bleeding right like excessively and she touched the bottom of Jesus's uh cloak. Okay, his his gown, his robe, and she was healed instantly. Right, it was his energy. Um, there was another one where uh, the cross right that Jesus was crucified on right so uh, the pieces of the actual cross right that he passed that he was was nailed to um there was a woman who knew about relics way back when and she had her men dig up right because when this happened to jesus this was this form of punishment was allowed back then so there were others that were crucified so they had to dig up right and then they found and they were like well how are we gonna know which one is which so by touching it right by touching so they she had a, a very very sickly person either they couldn't walk or th they couldn't do something or you know they were very sick whatever the case may be well basically she had this person touch all of the pieces of wood from the crosses that were buried here until they found the relic that person was able to get up and walk i mean instantly cured instantly because of jesus's energy his auric field okay now there's other relics by other apostles um disciples and, and and saints and things of that nature okay if you're really interested and you want to look that up but for the sake of this this reading here this was the example that they were they were giving here okay you yourself is like a relic okay like no you are not an object all right you are a spiritual being having a humanistic experience you're a vessel your auric field how you operate as a person okay this is why nobody can take this away from you because it's you <laughs> okay you are the energy that people need for the sake of their ailments holistically okay whether you believe or not because you're very sensitive to the spiritual realm and some of you guys have a very very close relationship with the almighty you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly 
because not everybody deserves your energy. God is going to have to lead and tell you who he wants, right? So some of you guys um, who've been in isolation, you were being prepared for this. For this very thing, okay? You were being prepared for this, prepared to do this. Okay, so if you feel like felt lost or, you know, why for some of you guys, you are in preparation for doing your purpose. Okay, so if it feels like you've been stripped down and all you have is you and God in the season, that's one of the main reasons why. Okay, so. All right, Holy Spirit. What does my Capricorns need to see? <laughs> okay, we have see the other person's point of view and as the overall energy and priority. So Holy Spirit said and saying, like at this point, this is your priority. I need you to do this. Not like not I want, I need. See, come out the closet. It's time for you guys to get out of hermit mode. I'm hearing, don't sleep, you got to stay up. Don't, don't sleep, you got to stay up, okay? Like, it's time for you, it's time to come out. I'm hearing, I'm coming out. Like, the world needs you on some, it's time to save the world on some X-Men, on some Marvel, on some DC characters, okay? I'm hearing, like, those movies didn't just happen because of a person's imagination. Those happened because, well, those were downloads that were given to the creators for it. Stop playing on my kid, Keen. Look, you are seeing the situation accurately. So sometimes it can be really, really difficult to tell the difference between our thoughts and our intuition. And they recognize that, which is why they really want you to practice and meditate so that you can get some sort of clarity. Also, at the same time, they're just letting you know, like, hey, no, you have been seeing this correctly, okay? And you can do it. You just got to believe in yourself despite what everybody else thinks because your calling is not everybody else's calling. So, of course, it's not meant for them to understand. Stay focused. Stop procrastinating. You know us Capricorns can procrastinate, but we always get the work done, okay? And nurture yourself. God want not, God needs you to nurture people. Find the blessings in your current situation. You can, some of you guys can literally bring people back to life here. Not on, and not on no witchcraft. No, all on God's energy. Like you recognize God, you give thanks to God, you praise God, you honor God, you're grateful for God. You're not perfect. That's not the expectation. But you, you, you have this close relationship where God can do his work through you effortlessly. Like God doesn't have to question your like your ability. You earn the trust of the divine. Thank you. So a lot of you guys earn the trust of the divine. Let me find out. So if you, so if you feel like you've been in Herman mode for so long, when this is going in, you were doing a lot. You were doing a lot. The divine had to see if they could trust you with this stuff too. Right? That's cute. <laughs> God had to prepare you for this, right? Like train you, like job training. It's just that, you know, usually in the 3D realm, job training what lasts what, like a week to a month, depending on the job, <laughs> not year, <laughs> right? Like usually you starting off and you, you, you in the field by now. No, this was to prepare you for the field that you're stepping into. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit. What's the divine guidance? This is your path, baby. Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. So the Holy Spirit is asking for you guys to have faith. Unwavering faith. Ooh, and I know that, that can be challenging. Listen, we have deepening. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will be begin to long for non-grasping detachment and surrender they bring the peace of god 
see two cards talking about god here is ever present well more so making his presence known thank you Holy spirit okay you you guys have old souls so even though your vessel might be 18 60 75 30 okay that's how old your vessel is that's how old that's how long you've been on this 3d realm that's not your actual age because remember you're a spiritual being having a humanistic experience so you're having a humanistic experience which means you are not your vessel your vessel you're just housing and occupying for you to navigate this 3d realm you are a soul that has lived many lifetimes right so your soul can be hundreds and thousands of years old dirt than your vessel because you are not your vessel you are a soul having a humanistic experience here for the purpose of your being here for this particular lifetime okay and it's up to you whether or not you're going to choose your calling because it's your path however you make your own decisions okay so that's what i got for you guys please like share comment and subscribe if this resonates with you and or if this is your story okay thank you so much for your support here it's truly appreciated remember you make your own decisions peace out deuces